I have found the best way to identify players in FM24 and today I'm going to share with you my wonder kid finder now this works on real players and it also works on new gens or regens whichever one you call them i'm not going to get into that on this video i'm going to show you today how to use it in game how i use it for my rebuilds and also show you some examples of the players that it does identify and then later on in the video i'll tell you how to download it how to install it all of that good stuff so we're going to dive into the game right now and on your screen you will see a save with loot and tank this is my most recent rebuild that i've done on the channel it is may 2028 we are into the future with this and we are just on the scouting screen right now now you can see lots of players have changed hands changed clubs etc etc Vinny is at manchester city for instance um and you can see all of the players on here now if you go onto a new search and you go onto the cog in the bottom of the window you can see i've already added my wonder kid finder to the game now i will show you how to do that later in the video but let's first of all show you how it works and how i've built it so we'll add the wonder kid filter in here and as you can see in the additional conditions basically what we do is we filter by personalities now there are lots of personalities in the game of football manager and i've kind of identified some of the best ones right here right now i can go through them as well if you want to try and rebuild this one yourself we look for ambitious born leaders charismatic leaders determined driven fairly determined iron willed model citizen model professionals perfectionist professionals and resolute now the one that you won't be able to do yourself all of those will work on console for instance however the one you will not be able to add yourself is the last one which is as you can see is new gen now if you do not want this one ticked obviously it's pulled in all of the new gens in the background we will untick that one and it will stay on the filter and you can see it's basically identified all of the real world players with this particular personality for their players now these personality traits usually result in better development so obviously you can see players like erling Haaland, mason mount ugarte gavi bellingham all of the top tier players on here so what i would basically do if i'm looking for a real player would be to pop this filter in so it kind of filters everything down on personality and then i go to work on my attribute searching so let's say hypothetically we are looking for a center back so we select center back as well and then we go into our attribute searching as well now if i were looking for a center back i would require first touch heading marking passing tackling technique anticipation bravery composure concentration decisions determination positioning these are the minimum things that i look for in a center back and we will usually say okay on that one and then we go back in and we say okay instead of matching all 13 of those attributes let's match 10 and then you can see it started to pull up players delict timber saliba and you can kind of see the talent and the levels of player on here right now so if we arrange it by age you can see Castello is the youngest player that fits this criteria he has the high good personality type as well and as you can see in this particular save he's already turned into a fantastic player so you can kind of see why he's on here but then if you slowly start trickling this down in terms of the attributes you may find some different players coming through obviously Morgala Leandro Morgala another good player in this year's game is now come in now we've dropped the attribute levels down to 14s and then what you can kind of do is basically keep going on here let's say we're looking for players who want to be transferred and then we arrange everyone by age there you go godwin agu is a new gen coming through from cologne in germany and he looks like this age 20 he's already got two caps and one goal for germany but this is the type of player that you can identify in your save and it works really well on both new gens and of course on the existing players now i'm gonna pop this one back on because i just want to search for new gens and obviously godwin agu is the first player that does pop up he looks like an absolute monster how i didn't spot this guy in my Luton Town save I guess maybe he didn't want to transfer but he looks very good age 20 already but then you are, can basically play around with this until more and more players turn up obviously we've got lots of players now I've dropped the attribute range down to 12 and you can see this guy here Palacios from Colombia looks like a phenomenal player he's valued at 110k to 1.1 million pounds and he already looks fantastic could do with a little bit of polishing but is a very cheap player 
in this game. And also, we've got another one here going over to Chile. You can kind of see not necessarily at the same level. Martin um, Martin Escobedo from uh, a Mexican side. You can kind of see, you can kind of go through some of these players. And you can see some absolute gems in here for not a lot of money. And the ones that I loved finding are like the guy right at the top from Colombia that we go in and we pick up for such a small fee. And this is the type of player that further down the line, you're going to sell them for 40 50 60 million whoever knows you can basically get this this caliber player who's absolutely unreal for hardly any money whatsoever so we are going to suggest here just because i want to see what we can get him for you can get him for seven hundred thousand pounds let's try again let's try again this time let's say we are looking for a striker so we'll keep all the additional conditions going and then this time we will go into the attributes and we will look for what i look for in a striker which is these three here dribbling finishing first touch technique and anticipation composure concentration decisions determination off the ball work rate and we'll have a little bit of pace in there as well we'll start off with the 12s and you can see it's identifying players pretty quickly here lots of players turning up at the attribute level of 12 for those and you can start to see some of the players that you will find here this guy here at oxer not very expensive at all a guy here northern irish player looks pretty good jacob bell we've got a guy up in norway again looking pretty good attribute wise bearing in mind this is based off of this team that i have at luton which is very bloody good i might admit which also has one of these types of players in it this is the striker that i was able to find using this filter in this save and he is an absolute monster i signed him for 16.25 million pounds he's had two seasons with me at luton town in the premier league and he's now valued at 95 to 109 million pounds this is i i will not be around the bush i think this is the best way for you guys to find these unbelievable talents in your game and also make a lot of money doing so this is another one here you can kind of see what i'm going for there's unreal levels of players and this is why i find it so fun to find these new gens in this game let's have a let's have one more go let's have one more go just whilst i'm here let's look for a central midfielder who can kind of do a little bit of everything yep let's throw all of that in okay we've been quite re restrictive here it has actually pulled in a player this guy's going to be unreal santo rossi he's very good obviously this one in particular is very expensive but the idea is that you do this every season after a new gen intake and you find these best players all across the world using this scouting network using this filter and pull them into your team and make the make the money make the profit on them let's just have a little look 37 to 47 million pounds this guy is unreal but just because i'm curious we're going to drop this down just a touch uh let's say we're going to look for 13 of those let's see if anyone else appears or is it just rossi just rossi but that is my wonder kid filter guys you can get the download link it is down in the description and now i will show you how to install it in fm and get it into your game so guys the first thing you're going to need to do is head on over to my patreon now i know what you're thinking steve why are you putting this behind a paywall over on patreon well i'm not it's just one place that I wanted the file locations to live and also Discord gets a little bit cluttered with this sort of thing. So it is over on Patreon for free. Just go over, sign up and you can get the Wonder Kid Finder FMF file right here. That will then go into your downloads folder and then I will show you where you need to place it. So you've downloaded the Wonder Kid filter from Patreon. You have it in your downloads folder right here, just like I do. If you click on it here and you cut this file, you then need to find where your version of Football Manager is stored. Mine is stored here in my documents, then into Sports Interactive, then into Football Manager, and you will find all of your folders in here. This is where you keep your graphics, your games, everything training routines we've done videos on that on the channel as well and you will have everything that you need to put into the game right here right now you need to go into the filters folder if you do not have a filters folder please do create one go into it and just paste the file into here obviously you can see i do have my wonder kid finder all set up in there then you need to go back into football manager go into your edit search tab like you would do i'm just going to clear all this so you can kind of see you need to go onto the cog at the bottom and then you'll need to go on to manage filters in every single iteration every single save game that you have then you will need to go onto the import for uh, import tab and then it will pull up the folder in that we just put this file into it will pull up the exact same folder but this one is in football manager you will see it is there wonder kid finder created by hood gaming you hit that load button 
and then you can see it's kind of in there twice for me. So we will select it there. You hit OK and you go back onto the cog and it should be appearing at the bottom. Click it there. You don't want to save your existing filter and then boom, it will be in your game as easy as that. And I just want to look at one more player just because I'm very greedy. This guy looks okay. I don't know why he's got a new gem face. This guy though, I'm really annoyed that Man City got him. And you guys can get the players of this caliber as well using my wonder kid filter hopefully you enjoy it and if you do want to get a little bit better at fm check out this playlist hopefully there's some stuff on there that will help you